That's how you boost the iron absorption from the cacao powder. Hello, Dr. Joe here of the drjoe.com and the 2020from.com. Today, I want to talk to you about how you can optimize your iron absorption from your intestines by at least 300% how you can maximize your iron absorption from the gut by at least three folds. And here is the background to this. A lot of us will get our iron supplies from plant foods. And the iron that is present in plant foods is called non-heme iron. And I'm referring to the iron you're gonna get from things like vegetables, some grains, and some fruits. Now, some foods that are manufactured are also fortified with iron as well. And the iron that is used for this fortification is non-heme iron. And here's the other thing. Some of you may have been prescribed iron supplements that you are taking on a daily basis. Now, guess what is used uh, in the iron supplements? Well, it is non-heme iron. On that basis, it is thought that 85% of the iron we consume is made up of non-heme iron, which means only 15% comes from heme iron. And heme iron is available only from animal products. Now, is there anything wrong in consuming non-heme iron? Uh, clearly, there isn't. There's nothing wrong in consuming non-heme iron. However, non-heme iron does have one very important drawback, and that drawback is the fact that non-heme iron is poorly absorbed from the intestines. But do not despair, because in this video, I'm gonna show you six hacks that you can employ uh, to improve your iron absorption, your non-heme iron absorption from the intestines. So do not worry. And I'm also gonna give you a practical demonstration on how to go about improving uh, or maximizing your non-heme iron absorption. So do not worry. So here are six tips to help you boost your iron absorption by at least 300%. Tip number one, you wanna get the sauce right. You wanna eat the right foods. The reason this is important is uh, you want to make the iron available in the first place for absorption. If the iron is not available, then of course it's not gonna be absorbed. So you wanna eat foods that have high iron content. Indeed, this shouldn't be a problem for you because in my last video, I gave you 10 foods that have high iron content. I'm gonna go over some of them again uh, shortly. And in the next video that I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be talking about vegetables and some fruits that have high iron content. So eat the right foods, that's tip number one. Tip number two, you wanna cook your iron rich foods with cast iron cookware. Uh, cooking with cast iron cookware has been shown to improve the availability of the iron in those foods. So that's tip number two. So tip number three. Tip number three, you do not want to consume your iron rich foods alongside tannin containing foods. The reason for this is tannins have been shown to block the absorption of iron from the gut. So you do not want to eat them together. You don't want to eat your iron rich foods alongside foods that have got tannin in them. What foods got tannin in them? Well, you'd be surprised, tea and coffee. Yes, I know it's a usual habit of ours when we're eating, we wanna have our tea, we wanna have our coffee uh, together with the, with the meal. Uh, if you wanna maximize your iron absorption, you do not wanna do that. You wanna keep them apart. Uh, you don't wanna drink your tea and your coffee alongside uh, a meal that's got high iron content. So that's tip number three. Tip number four, if you are taking calcium supplements, do not take your calcium supplements just before your meal, during your meal, or soon after uh, you've had your high iron containing meal. The reason for that is calcium, just like tannins, calcium does block the absorption of iron from the gut. So uh, do not have your calcium supplement along with your meal in one form or the other. So that's tip number four. Tip number five, you want to make sure that when you prepare your meals uh, that have high iron content, you want to also include foods that have got high levels of beta carotene. Uh, there is research evidence uh, to show that when you do this, you increase your iron absorption by at least 300%. So uh, beta carotene foods uh, should be part of that uh, recipe. Tip number six. Now, what you want to do, just like tip number five, you want to make sure that when you design your recipe, uh, you want to include uh, vitamin C rich foods alongside 
uh, your iron rich foods because vitamin C has been shown to boost the absorption of iron from the gut so you want to do that uh, if it if you can make it part of the recipe great if you can't then just have a vitamin C food soon after uh, you've had your meal so uh, how do you go about this now in case you're wondering how to incorporate tips number five and six i.e. bitter carotene and vitamin C rich foods uh, into uh, maximizing your iron absorption I, I've got some practical examples here for you hopefully you're gonna find this useful so you remember I talked about oysters clams shellfish uh, being high in iron well uh, when you make your recipe involving oysters clams or shellfish have some tomatoes with it okay uh, high in vitamin C uh, include some tomatoes in the recipe that's one way now I also talked about white beans being high in uh, iron of course I've got calanilli beans here uh, just one example of white beans other white beans also apply how about you include some sweet potatoes in your recipe okay very easy combination uh, and it works okay white beans along with sweet potatoes sweet potatoes have high bitter carotene okay you see it's not that difficult uh, cacao powder well of course cacao powder is high in iron uh, how about you add your cacao powder to a smoothie that's got strawberries in it okay it works okay that's how you boost the iron absorption from the cacao powder next tofu uh, you chopped your tofu blocks and you want to do a nice recipe how about you include some bell peppers high in vitamin C okay bell peppers tofu they go together it's not that hard and next sunflower seeds okay when you have your sunflower seeds how about you just have an orange afterwards it could be one or two oranges it doesn't have to be one but you know vitamin c rich food sunflower seeds together boost absorption next you remember i talked about my uh cashew nuts my love for cashew nuts how about you finish having your cashew nuts have have a peach or two peaches or three uh to to boost the iron absorption from the cashew nuts works it could be peaches it could be apricots it could be kiwi it doesn't matter just have fruit alongside your cashew nuts or soon after to boost the iron absorption from the cashew nuts next is edamame beans uh, edamame beans are high in iron how about when you design your recipe you make sure you got some carrots with it okay it works very simple to do just do that and you'll be boosting the iron absorption from the edamame beans carrots and edamame beans you see, it's not that hard. It's very simple to incorporate bitter carotene alongside uh, your high iron containing foods and also incorporating vitamin C alongside your high iron containing foods. It just works. Question, is it possible to use fruit juices like apple juice or orange juice that are high in vitamin C alongside our high iron containing meal? Well, yes, you can. However, that answer comes with a caveat. And the caveat is this, I see fruit juices as a sugar bomb and uh, most adults who are watching this video, they already have metabolic issues and the last thing we want to do is send our blood sugar levels through the roof just because we want to optimize our iron absorption from our foods. So uh, the approach I would prefer is for you to use the regular oranges, the regular bell peppers, the regular apples, the regular tomatoes as opposed to uh, going for the shortcut of using fruit juices, okay? So uh, hopefully that helps. And in case you're wondering why I included carrots in that package, well, it's because carrots are exceptionally high in beta carotene and uh, you'll be doing yourself a big favor by including carrots in your recipe if you have the chance to by virtue of their nutritional profile in the next video i'm going to be talking about vegetables and some fruits that have high iron content that video should be available in a week's time so be on the lookout so if you got some value from this video as usual please give the video a thumbs up please like the video and uh, please share this video with your friends family and colleagues now if you liked the examples that i showed you here on how to incorporate beta carotene and vitamin c uh, into your foods that have high iron content uh, if you liked what i did there please uh, let me know in the comment section or if you got any other comments or any questions uh, please leave them down below as usual i think that's about it until next time well this is dr joe signing out